and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video of how I chose the state I'm going to for the state transfer event. First you tap map and then state transfer icon right there and that'll bring up the huge list of states available for you to transfer to. The first ones are the leading states. These are essentially off limits unless they're able to drop from leading state status and then these ones are the open states that you're able to transfer to. They require the full amount of transfer tickets. Like I need 45. They have crowded, moderate, and lively listed on them, which I think are, it's pretty meaningless because I'm in 7885 right now and it's literally two alliances. So I'm not sure what they consider lively. Uh, and then here is trailing states. These ones have a significantly reduced amount of tickets required to transfer to. Or here's state 128. If I wanted to transfer to this state, it'd be 14 tickets, which is a fraction of what I need to go to any other state. Do I recommend going to a trailing state? Mm, not really. I mean, if you're in a situation where you need to get out of a dramatic state or you want to just get away from it all, then cool. But otherwise, probably not. Here I'm going to put in 765. This is a lively state. This one I actually know is lively because I have an account in there already. And you can see that because my migration rating is 45 tickets. And I'm going to go take a look at the state before I make a decision. So you can go to the coordinates and just put the state in. You're looking to see what it's like. I looked at tons of different states. So I didn't have time to make accounts in all of them. So this is the next best thing. And then because I'm in the state, I know IDN is DHN's farm. So it's an easier way to find the top alliance if you're looking for it. If you see the little farm. And here we go. Here's DHN. It's taking me a little bit. I forgot where my account was. <laughs> there it is. My little baby account. But you can see, I look around to see the accounts are there. Particularly, I keep an eye out if, if people have the Mego skins from their alliance winning it and see how many have it. And then if you tap on anyone's uh, profile, then you can tap alliance and then you can tap on the members and you can check to see what collection levels their players are at. I tend to keep an eye on that. You can see all these guys have 70s, 80s collection levels. And then if you start seeing the BP and collection levels dropping off very fast, like down to 20s, that usually tells me that the Alliance is dead, that they're holding on to a lot of dead BP. And that's not somewhere I want to be. I want to be in an active and strong Alliance that has a whole bunch of participation. And DHN fits that criteria. Besides, I like everyone there too. <laughs> and then you want to start asking some people what they think about it, whether they share governor, like I know 765 shares governor, and then they do a mega alliance for SVS, which are both things I was looking for in a state. So I am very excited to be transferring to 765 at reset, be able to play with my friends that I've been planning on playing with for quite some time now. I think I've bypassed like three transfer events. So I'm looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be a wonderful thing. So if you're looking for a state to transfer to, take a look at the state, see how the layout is, see if there's more than one alliance. That's my advice to you. Ask a couple questions. Everyone will say everything and anything to get you to come to their state. Take a look yourself. Just don't take someone's word for it. Otherwise, you'll end up transferring to a new state the next time. And 45 tickets is a whole lot of tickets to come up with. But thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.